Welcome to a spiritual dialogue with Father Udon de Castro. We are here at Cariana Lay Monastic Community. I'm your host, Brother Lodi. And with us is Sister Tachi. Sister Tachi? Yes, I was thinking about the last episode, Father. You were talking about the hermeneutics of discontinuity or continuity, Father. Would you like to continue on that? Yes, our general topic is um, we're trying to disentangle the confusion in the Catholic Church. That's a general topic, no? And we divided our uh, discussion into two, the two causes of the confusion in the Catholic Church. The first is because those who are supposed to, taught, to teach us, which are the bishops, the pope, and the priests, are not teaching us mm -hmm. the right Catholic doctrine. Mm -hmm. Or worse still, they're teaching us the wrong doctrines. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. And because we made this uh, observation that they are teaching us the wrong doctrines, we began to describe what, us, what are these uh, doctrines. wrong doctrines. The second reason why we are confused is because um, the pupils, we, do not know how to study mm. the Catholic faith. Yes. Because we think that studying the Catholic faith is identical to studying trigonometry or geometry mm. or the sciences. And it's not because the Catholic faith is a supernatural teaching and therefore the way to study it is different when you study natural subjects or natural sciences. Mm. And we have discussed some of these errors that are being taught to us. So there are two defects of coming from the teachers. First is that they are not teaching us the right one, the mm -hmm. right teachings. And secondly, they're teaching us the wrong ones, the wrong teachings or the wrong doctrines. Mm -hmm. And so we are beginning our dialogue with uh, correcting those wrong teachings that they are already teaching us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just start touching. Oh, I think Father has something more to say. And so Sister, Sister Tachi was mentioning our last topic, which is the hermeneutics of discontinuity, which is to be differentiated from the hermeneutics of continuity. Mm -hmm. The hermeneutics of discontinuity is a heresy condemned by the popes, and the last pope who condemned it is Pope Benedict, mm -hmm. is the teaching that says that the Catholic Church began 2,000 years ago, mm -hmm. and sometimes 100 years ago, it disappeared. It ceased to continue. It ceased to Existing. exist. It stopped existing. And therefore, the bishops found the necessity to start a new Catholic Church, to start a new one. Mm -hmm. So that is what you call discontinuity. Mm -hmm. And Pope Benedict says, that's wrong, that's a heresy, he says. What we should adapt is what you call the hermeneutics of continuity, meaning to say the Catholic Church is 2,000 years old, and it's continuing exactly the same Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to ask the question, what happened? How come? Mm. Suddenly there is a change, there's a change. That the Catholic Church changed, that it ceased to exist, it stopped existing, and suddenly the bishops found the necessity of starting a new church. So what happened? And we go down to the psychology of man which you have to analyze. You know, man likes changes. Mm -hmm. They like changes all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. In the sense that they always want to do what they want. Mm -hmm. So when there is something that they do not want, they change it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you have food and you don't like it, you change the food. Yes, brother. The biggest... Um, commercial product is makeup. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yes, but why? Because women always like to change the way they look. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. But, They're never satisfied the way they look like. So they have sometimes green eyeshadow, sometimes pink, sometimes red. Mm. They change. Mm -hmm. And men are also the same. That's why we have the sartorial business, sartorial tailors. Mm. Oh, okay. Because they want to change the, clothing. The style. Every yeah. day, you know, change clothing and so on. So men loves chains. And as we have seen in the United States, when uh, Obama won the election, his theme was change. Change to what? Exactly, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, change doesn't come from the free will, doesn't come from the intellect. Mm -hmm. Where does it come? For it comes from the free will. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Oh. The free will doesn't, doesn't think, doesn't reason, doesn't judge. The free will does not. It's the intellect that uh, thinks, that makes judgment and so on like that. Mm -hmm. So, when the eye see something hot, mm -hmm. the intellect judges is dangerous. Yes, when it follows. So the intellect tells you don't touch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there is a reasoning, and there is an action that follows. Don't touch the hot thing. The free will doesn't think. When you want to do something, you just do it without thinking of the repercussions and so on, like that. And changes come from the free will, does not come from the intellect. But the intellect is the one reasoning out what yeah. is in the free will. But the free will doesn't, doesn't reason out, no. Okay. doesn't reason out, no. It just do, it's just a, uh, power that does things, but it doesn't reason, it doesn't think, you know. So, changes comes from the free will. You just do things and change things because you don't like it. But you, see, you, you don't have a reason for doing it. It's like a react, would you say that? It is a? React, rather than a, because if you think, you respond, you right? Well, you don't have to react. It's just an action. Just simply action. like that. You just change okay. it. Okay, doesn't matter what it, it doesn't is. Matter. Okay, yes, I get. It. So, in brother Lud, a lot they ask, uh, what changed when hmm. President yes. Obama was uh, campaigning? He says, change, change, everybody, change, change, change. Mm. But from what to what? Mm. Yeah, that's the big question, brother. That's an intellectual mm. question. Oh, I see. It comes from the intellect. Mm. From what to what? It must be from something bad to something good. That's why you're changing it, because it's bad and you want to do something mm -hmm. good, so you change. That there is a reasoning. That must that be the good, uh, the good reason for changing. Yeah, but there, there is a reason, whether it's good or bad. Sometimes it's bad, uh, mm -hmm. I see. Okay. but you reason out. No? But when it comes to the free will, so Obama promises changes, the reason was an asking from what to what, and yet they voted for him. Mm -hmm. Just because mm -hmm. he said, yes. change. Yes. Mm -hmm. They were hoping he would give them changes that they like. Mm -hmm. That was the hope. But the point is after the first uh, election, because Obama was uh, elected twice yes. as president, after the first election, the people had already noticed there was no changes for the better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But they still elected him. What could be the reason for that? What is the reason for that? No? Even though there were rumors already going around America that he was not an American citizen. Mm -hmm. In which case, he's not... Um, qualified to become president of the United States. Mm, yes. But still the Americans did not use their reason and check whether he was really an American citizen or not. Yes. Because Obama was able just to move the free will without touching the reason, the intellect. 
So he just kept on promising change, change, change. He was focusing on the free will, not in the intellect. Yes, sister? I was just thinking. So any, it's so easy to manipulate. It seems to be so easy to manipulate people. It is. People. Very easy to manipulate. Very, very easy. Why are there so many pagans? How come there are so many communists and so on? Because it's easy to manipulate yeah. people. And this manipulation is due to an educated mind, an enlight enlightened mind. Yeah, people who don't think can be manipulated. People who don't think. Those who are what you call emotional. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all that. Yeah. I think that's what's happening to our country, Father. <laughs> yeah. But after Obama was elected twice, the Americans began to think. Mm -hmm. And when Donald Trump became candidate, they began to think. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they elected him. Mm -hmm. And if you will notice, Donald Trump has, has not done anything yet, and yet they elected him. Mm -hmm. Oh, because, uh, uh, because he was just a candidate. He proposed uh, changes also? Well, he also propo uh, proposed changes. Eh? Now he's doing a lot of good things, and people are convinced they did the right thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but when they elected him, it was exactly the way they elected Obama, just with the free will. Mm -hmm. Not thinking. Purely emotional, without thinking, because there was nothing to think. Uh -huh. So everything is happening, just people are desirous of change mm -hmm. without any reason, any valid reason, because the free will does not act upon reason. It can act independently of reason. Which is not the way it should be. It should not be like that. Because you're a human being, you have a reason and a free will, and the reason is supposed to guide the free will, to dictate to the free will. Mm -hmm. oh. So that is the psychology that we are discussing. Mm -hmm. Now the same thing happened in the Catholic Church. If you will notice from the beginning of the Catholic Church, there has been priests and bishops who wanted to change the Catholic Church, to change the teachings of the Catholic Church. Arius, mm -hmm. Pelagius, Nestorius, all of these people wanted to change the Catholic Church because they did not like certain teachings of the Catholic Church because they found it dif difficult to put into practice. But wouldn't you, believe, wouldn't you say, Father, if it is a matter of faith like that, a belief, like a religion? It's, I mean, if it's any other topic, yes, but it's easy to just keep changing because that's what you like. So that emotion cannot be, cannot be sort of, um, I don't know how to say it, but can I not rethink or somebody shake them and say, think? No, that's too much to ask. Well, um, you cannot just tell people to <laughs> think, think like that. It can be yeah, a know, big know, placard, think. Think. They, they, they won't know. think. No, yeah. no. No, I guess it's human nature. Uh, it's human nature we don't think really. We act <laughs> out of emotions mm. and passions mm. and so on. Because it's hard to think. <laughs> to think well, you need reasoning. You need philosophy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you will notice, even Jesus Christ, when he was preaching, some people would understand him, but some people would not understand him. Mm. Yeah. No. And the reason is because those who understood him were using their minds, their intellect. Mm -hmm. While those who didn't understand him did not use their intellect, they were using their free will. Mm -hmm. In other words, because Christ said something that they did not like, so they would reject Christ. That is the normal reaction of That's uh, normal those reaction. Human, people. Very uh -huh. human. And I don't say even human because humans are supposed to have intellects. Supposed to use it. Yeah. So in the history of the Catholic Church, there has always been a tendency to change the Catholic Church into something that people like. I see. I know, Father, it will be a long uh, explanation, 
we have only one minute, and probably next episode you can this, uh, talk more about uh, this uh, thing you said. We have 30 seconds to go, Father. So, the example of Arius is what we are going to discuss, is what is happening today. So, Arius wanted to change the Catholic Church, not to a better church. He wanted to change it into what he liked. Just as Martin Luther wanted to change the Catholic Church into what he likes. And that's what we have a problem today with the hermeneutics of discontinuity because bishops and cardinals wanted to change the Catholic Church into what they like. Okay. Thank you for watching Spiritual Dialogue with Father Don De Castro. Next episode, Father will discuss more about uh, this hermeneutic of discontinuity. Thank you so much. I'll see you then. Hosanna, Hosanna.